We're, we are here with Dave Feldman, president of Bear Knuckle Fighting Championship. The, greatest, the, the, the sport is growing faster than nothing in the combat sport. Uh, Dave, do you think this is the most important show for you days before the Super Bowl? Paige Van San, how do you describe the feeling before this show? Yeah, it, it, it's a big show for us. It, it's kind of vindication for us that a lot of people that told us that we wouldn't be around past two shows and then we wouldn't be around past 10 shows and they're going to fail. And here we are. We just keep climbing more mountains and doing things that nobody thought we could do. And now we're, you know, we're an attraction for Super Bowl weekend because there's not a lot of parties. And there's not a lot of things going on, but we are going on. And we're a, uh, like I said, we're an attraction there. It's going to be a sold out event. Um, and we have a, a former UFC superstar, mainstream superstar, Paige, uh, Paige Van Zandt, Dancing with the Stars, Chopped, uh, swimsuit uh, cover model. So fantastic. It's a fantastic feeling to be where we're at and growing, growing as fast as we are. When you talk about the impact of Paige Van Zandt, she was a star in UFC. Now he's with you. What kind of impact do you spread? How do you think her is going to bring more fans to Bare Knuckle? Yeah, because, see, she doesn't have just fight fans, right? She has uh, 4 million followers. And, nine, yeah, I say 75% of those don't even know about her fighting. They know about, you know, her being pretty and her modeling and her on Dancing with the Stars. So those are the kind of new fans that we can bring over to this fan base. So that's why it was important to get a girl like her or an athlete like her involved. Um, So we're excited about what, what we think that she can bring to the table. And look, she has high expectations, so she needs to deliver. You have a formula. You have people that's coming in the company, but you are adding people out of the company. From me, for example, um, Hector Lombard. What is, how do you see the, the growing of the company in terms of personal, in terms of fires? for uh, the people to know more the company? Well, you know, if, if, if we could be in a different spot than we are now with COVID and we could do more shows because of the crowds, right now we can only do a certain amount of shows. You know, we do depend on the on the revenue from the gate. And when the gates cut down to 20% or 25%, we can't capitalize. We can't do as many shows as we'd like. Because if we could, we have hundreds of people that email us every week to be a part of this show. I mean, legitimate fighters, But the most unique thing now is they're reaching out from all around the world, Russia, Vietnam, China, you name it, they want to come over and fight for us. So um, it's great to have everybody want to be fighting for us. And now, you know, as this, hopefully this horrible disease and this pandemic goes away, we're going to be able to put on more and more shows. I mean, our plan is to put on uh, 22 shows this year wow. um, in the climate we're in. And, and if it, if, if it gets a little better, we're probably going to go up to about 30 shows. So we're really excited if, you know, but everything has to line up, right? I mean, the, the world has to get better. If the world gets a little better, we're going to explode. So you're thinking going global, you're thinking going, doing shows in England and Russia and Vietnam, anywhere. Yeah. We have a show planned in, um, in Thailand. It's, uh, March, uh, 5th. March 5th is our first show. It's in Phuket, Thailand. So it's where a lot of the Muay Thai uh, fighters train. We're actually also opening up the BKFC training facility there in Phuket, Thailand as well. Then wow. we're going to go back and do a show in England in April. And then, you know, we, we have plans for Russia. We have plans for Vietnam. We have plans for a lot of different countries right now. But again, COVID has to cooperate because it just makes it very difficult right now. So as soon as, as, soon as that cooperates, you know, The crazy thing is, look, this has been a horrible year for everybody, right? 2020 was just not a good year. But for us, God bless us, man. We were so lucky to, we tripled our fan base. We tripled our growth on social media. We've got more fans than we've ever had by far. And I think it was because we had the guts to kind of go outside the box and do things during COVID. And it, it was good for us. So, you know, I, I feel bad and say, I say, said millions of prayers for everybody that got affected by this. But For us as a company and as an organization, it was actually a blessing in disguise. When you have a guy like Shaquille O'Neal saying that Bernard Uncle is going to be the future of comeback sport, how do you feel about it? <laughs> First of all, had he even say Shaq, like he FaceTimed me and I go like this to my son. I'm like, yeah, Shaq, Shaq just FaceTimed me. And I'm like, 
Shaq, like he's my buddy, like he's a superstar. And, and it, it was really fun. It was really exciting. But so he came to that event and he loved it. And then the next day I text him, I said, how did you like it? And he said, I didn't. And I was like, well, oh man. And then like two minutes later, he goes, I loved it. It was the best thing I've ever seen live. And I was like, wow, this is great. So we're talking to him now, getting about getting more and more involved. A lot of people are, you know, coming out of the woodwork now and want to be involved in, involved in this growth. Um, right now is our time. So we need to capitalize now. We can't wait any longer, right? You know, you know you're hot once you, they say you got to strike when the iron's hot, the iron's hot. So we need to strike and we're planning on having one heck of a 2021. For those people and a lot of Latin people is coming to know right now, Bernardo, what is the appeal? Two round minutes, uh, mm, the, 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 the brutality, the, 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 the block, what is the appeal of Bert Knuckles for all the fans in the world? It's it, it's really all that. I think the real thing is is it, it's nonstop, fast paced excitement. So with the two with the five two minute rounds, with the nonstop excitement because of the way we make them start toe the line. They start you know three foot from each other, and then um, the the circle it actually looks like it's bigger, but when you're in there, it's smaller. So everything we did, we designed for for, for action and fast pace, and then. On top of it, you're in hit with a bare knuckle. So it's a whole different world. I think it's just the fast-paced excitement, and it's real, right? It's as real as it gets. And MMA is great. UFC is phenomenal. Look at what they did. They blew up everywhere. But they're getting, as they get more and more regulated, it's not as exciting. Look, this weekend was very exciting. But some other fights aren't as exciting because, you know, sometimes they lay on top of each other. They clinch too long. They do things. Which in this sport, you just can't. If you clinch, you can punch with the open hand. You can, it's exciting. I think it's to sum it all up. I think it's just fast, fast paced excitement the entire event long. And some people doesn't know that the ring, the, the arena was ring, it's not square. It's no. like the ancient boxing in the old time supposed to do in the rings. And you're bringing like the old times with the modern times. And so it's really the only ring, if you will, a ring is round, right? So it's your only ring in the world. And it's, you know, it's called the squared circle. Like I said, it's built for excitement. I mean, and it is because there's nowhere to hide in the corner. You have to fight everywhere you're at. And, you know, I think that's why the fans really like it. That's why, the, and the fighters love it because look, they're all treated right. We treat them right. Again, I wish we could be putting on more fights right now to treat them better, but we can only do what we can do. But we're, you know, we're doing a great job with the fighters. We're doing a great job for the fans. The fans love it. Um, sponsors are coming on board. A lot of TV companies are hitting us up. Netflix for a reality show. So we have so many things in the works. I can't even tell you how exciting that I, how excited I am for 2021. South Florida is being a home, a home for you. Some, some good show here in South Florida. When are you returning to Miami and what is going to happen in Miami? It uh, looks like I don't have the exact venue yet. We're looking at possibly going back to the uh, same place that we were at last time, but we may go to a, a, another place where also I actually just helped um, Matchroom Boxing get to the, the uh, Canelo fight at the, at the Hard Rock Stadium. So I have a good relationship with them. There's a good chance that we're going to be there April 16th. So we could be at the Hard Rock Stadium April 16th, but we're definitely going to be in Miami April 16th. And as you mentioned, it's a home away from home for us. It's, it, you know, it, it's our South Florida home for bare knuckle. It might be my, my new home soon because I love it down there. I might move down there. It's a great place for me to live and, and to work. But I mean, I, if I could do a fight every month in South Florida, I would, we just can't, but we're definitely going to be there four times a year. It's a phenomenal place for us to be. The fans love it. I mean, they talk about it everywhere you go now, you know, they Seguante, Seguante is, So they love it. it and I'm, um, I'm really happy about the way that South Florida really attached to bare knuckle fighting championship. There, there's a chance that we'll see Luis Palomino, our champion, or Ulises Diaz in, in that show? Yeah, um, probably all the above. Uh, Luis probably, um, Yuli Diaz will be fighting, Hector Lombard will be fighting, Tiago Alves will be fighting. So all the big uh, South Florida names will be fighting on that show. Well, uh, they thank for your times. Good luck. I know it's a big, big show for you. Super Bowl show. So just if you don't mind, let me let me plug where to watch it. You can go to the bareknuckle.tv, go to our website, and you can get all the pay-per-view information. Bareknuckle.tv. You can get tickets there and you can also get the pay-per-view information. It's going to be a phenomenal show. You don't want to miss it. And thank you so much for your support.
Last question. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, you got to go with Tampa. <laughs> I called, but I, you know what's funny? I called Tampa at the beginning of the playoffs, and everybody said I was crazy. So they're in it. They're the, aren't they? The, are, are they the first home team ever in the, in yes. the, in the Super yes, Bowl? Yes, they are. So, I mean, it's going to be phenomenal. Now the, the crowd, are, I'm excited because I think it's going to be so much more exciting now in Tampa. Never go against Tom Brady. Never. <laughs> there you go. There you go, my man. Take, take care, my friend. Okay? Take care, Thank you. Bye-bye.